Taiwan held live fire artillery drills in Pingtung County on its southeastern coast early on Tuesday. Officials said the exercises were being held to test combat readiness in response to recent Chinese live fire ammunition exercises surrounding Taiwan. China also extended its military exercise around Taiwan Strait in the Yellow and Bohai Seas. As the tension increases in Indo-Pacific region, China's People's Liberation Army continues to test its structures and capabilities. Exercises in the Eastern and Southern Theater Commands focused primarily on what appear to be Taiwan scenarios, including amphibious operations. The PLA continues to boost its numbers of modern platforms, particularly in the Air Force and the Navy. The Air Force's fleet of heavy transport aircraft has effectively doubled in size since 2016, with Y-20 as now outnumbering IL-76s in the inventory. On the other hand, Taiwanese security policy is dominated by its relationship with China and its attempts to sustain a credible military capability. Taiwan's current focus is on air defense and deterrence in coastal areas on both sides of the island. Taiwan is modernizing its existing holdings and developing its domestic defense industry through increased funding and the development of new weapons programs. Although all modernization of army and foreign investments boosted Taiwan's army, there is one thing that has not changed for Taiwan – its geography. Taiwan is still a tiny island, now with 23 million people, roughly 100 miles off the coast of a giant mainland China, with 1.4 billion people who claim Taiwan as part of the Chinese motherland. The Taiwanese army is still much smaller compared to nuclear-armed China. Military analysts say China's latest military exercises show Beijing doesn't need to invade Taiwan to control it. Rather, it can strangle the self-ruled island, cutting it off from the outside world. The People's Liberation Army drills, which officially began last Thursday, focused on six zones that essentially encircled Taiwan, restricting access to civilian ships and aircraft in the area. Our own exercises as well. Uh, but the, the ultimate uh, thing to keep in mind is notwithstanding exercises at any given point in time, is that China has consistently said that they would use force if necessary to bring about the unification of Taiwan with China. And obviously that, that threat has to be taken seriously by uh, stakeholders here in Taiwan, uh, whether that's the military or the public or, or elected officials, as well as other countries that have an interest in uh, the, the, this issue. The, a very interesting uh, poll result that was just released in the last 24 hours it, this was a poll taken after Pelosi had departed, after China began its military exercises. And 60 percent of the public here do not expect China to use military force. Uh, so it shows that a lot of the public, uh, they, they deal with this in a very calm way. Uh, people, and it's been business as usual here over the past five or six days, uh, an everyday conversation. People are not worried. Uh, people are not changing their daily activities. People are not fleeing Taiwan. Uh, businesses are not fleeing Taiwan, nor are their executives. Uh, that, that, that should also be concerning, though, because uh, China has made it very clear that force is an option to bring about unification. And, and the public has to take that seriously here as well. And, uh, from that poll result, result that 60 percent don't think China will use force, uh, that, that should be a concern to policymakers here.